stared out his office windows to the Space Center beyond. The Space Center that housed mankind's most advanced knowledge of rocketry, yet it still failed to execute today's launch. His mom will come, his wife again, no doubt where to be. He let it go to voicemail. He just couldn't face her. Right. A chime came from his computer. Passing over, he saw an email from JPL. A relay message from Pathfinder. 1603, Watney. How'd the launch go? Chapter 16. Martinez. Dr. Shields says I need to write personal messages to each of the crew. She says it'll keep me tethered to humanity. I think it's bullshit, but hey, it's normal. With you, I can be blunt. If I die, I need you to check on my parents. If I want to hear about our time on the first turn. Team, I'll need you to do that. It won't be easy talking to a couple about their dead son. It's a lot to ask. That's why I'm asking you. Yeah, I'm telling you my best friends, but it would be late. I'm not giving up, just planning for every outcome. It's what I do. Guo Ming, director of the China National Space Administration, examined the daunting pile of paperwork at his desk. In the old days, when China wanted to launch a rocket, they just launched it. Now they were compelled by international agreements to warn other nations first. It was a requirement, Guo Ming noted to himself, that did not apply to the United States. To be fair, the Americans publicly announced their launch schedules well in advance, so it amounted to the same thing. He walked a fine line filling out the form, making the launch date and flight path clear while doing everything possible to conceal state secrets. He snorted at the last requirement. Ridiculous, he mumbled. The Taiyang Shen had no the strategic fuck? or military What the hell is he doing? Was what the fuck? What the fuck are people doing? Yeah, they're 